This video has been brought to you by Eternal Saber's Pizza Mogul campaign. If you're an Aussie who likes pizza, then head on over to pizzamogul.com.au or dominoes.com.au and enter the username eternal underscore saber to see his full range of pizzas. Link below in the description. Warning, this video contains scenes of graphic violence. Viewer discretion is advised. So Turkey is now investigating Minecraft over allegations of it being too violent. Holy crap. I just um, come across an article on GameSpot that's saying that Turkey is investigating Minecraft over claims that it's too violent. Given the popularity and appeal with children, not to mention it's E for Everyone reading in the United States, Minecraft is the one of the last video games you would expect to be facing scrutiny over depictions of violence. However, that's exactly what is now happening. The Turkish website Habertürk reports this week that the country's family and policies minister, Aiznir Islam, expressed concerns recently that Minecraft might be too violent, as detailed by Newsweek. A reporter suggested during a recent news conference that the open-ended sandbox game could promote aggression and it features depictions of violence against women. Really? This is what she had to say. We will examine the game and see if there is an element of violence. She added that Turkey's investigation could result in a nationwide Minecraft ban. Islam did not provide any further details regarding the country's investigation to Minecraft. Being a sandbox game with no real set of rules, Minecraft players are free to essentially do whatever they like inside the world. This is part of the game's appeal and an element that has fueled its immense popularity. This freedom offered to players might explain why some of the see Minecraft as a game that could promote violence. However, Minecraft is also frequently cited for its educational value. A special version of the game, Minecraft EDU, is used in schools across the country. Censorship measures in Turkey have increased as of late. Newsweek notes, examples include the, the Turkish army banning Game of Thrones from being shown in military schools, as well as general steps taken to restrict some content on platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. The Minecraft series was created by free Swedish developer Mojang, which recently sold the franchise to Microsoft for $2.5 billion. This is what Microsoft had to say. Microsoft has enjoyed, uh, sorry, Minecraft is enjoyed by many players in a wide variety of ways. Many enjoy the creative freedom that's presented by Minecraft and its tools. Some are more interested by the opportunity to explore a landscape without boundaries and to go on an exciting adventures with friends. We encourage players to cooperate in order to succeed, whether they're building, exploring, or adventuring. The world of Minecraft can be a dangerous place. It's inhabited by scary, genderless monsters that come out at night. It might be ne necessary to defend against them to survive. If people find this level of fantasy conflict upsetting, we would encourage them to play in creative mode or enable the peaceful setting. Both of these options will prevent monsters from appearing in the world. Now, I have to say, uh, now, now we've got uh, governments such as Turkey uh, now reporting games like Minecraft for absolute utterly ridiculous reasons uh it's because that um uh, video games in general are a completely new uh, are a completely new form of entertainment that is still baffling the minds of older people and governments everywhere and when a government whether it will be um the united states or turkey or australia uh no come up with them um, this type of investigation into uh, violence against women, especially in a game that is rated G or E for everyone in the United States, it completely blows my mind. And it's uh, no, this is where censorship goes absolutely over the edge, and all helps all hell breaks loose. It is no, just horrendous what is going on here, and the, it would uh, no, kick off a. Uh, uh, it, it'll set off a domino effect. It'll have every government in the developed world uh, to investigate video games in general and then ban them based on... Uh, it is stuff like this 
as well as video game companies doing shady business it is it's just going to kill the gaming industry as a whole i do not want to see that happen and not only as a gamer but also an advocate for free speech Oh, as to why this keeps on going on, especially uh, the, with a game that, that does not deserve this type of criticism. And it saddens me that this would eventually lead to the death of the gaming industry. I can totally see that happening. Yes, thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting the Saber Scoot channel. See you later.